Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I've gone for a head shave and face shave today. This one will be the head shave, next one will be the face shave. And these are in homage to two people that have sort of made an impact on my journey through weight shaving. The first one I'm going to talk about is Milton over at Turn and Shave. Now this is the first brush that I ever got from Milton. It is an absolutely stunning example of his work. Now there is not a single mark, scratch, flaw, anything on this brush at all, it's just impeccable. The clear resin is crystal clear, there's no scratch marks, no tooling marks, nothing on it at all. And it's got this 25mm angel hair nut, which is super, super soft, quite floppy. And it's a beautiful knot. Now he is making another brush for me, but... Milton, you, you've done a great job mate, over the years, over the year, over the year, and the years, over the year. And it's been a pleasure watching all your brushes getting made and, and obviously I've got my other turn and shave brush as well which I'll just show you guys. Which is this one here, the 30mm Whip Dog Bore. And this absolutely stunning, stunning cast. It really is impressive. There's not a mark on this either. Impeccable machining. The actual cast as well is off the charts good. Just brilliant, brilliant work. And I'm, I'm really chuffed to have these brushes in the den. I will now have three in the den once I get my new one, which I know I'm going to love the knot. Thankfully, I didn't really go on very well with the ghost knot, but like I say, that one will be an Instagram giveaway. Secondly, the soap of choice for today is Barrister and Man. Is that focusing? What is going on with the camera? Is that just me or is that you guys as well? I don't know. Hopefully that's focusing. My, my eyes are going really wonky looking at that in the mirror. The barrister and man, first snow, fur and leather. I think there's menthol in here as well. Let me just double check. There is menthol. It is an absolutely stunning woodsy leather scent. It smells like lovely, like sort of woven in leather. It doesn't smell like a brand new cheap shitty leather. It smells really refined. A little bit of fur or the wood scent through there, and then the menthol hit as well, which is not a lot of it, but it's just nice. The weather here is shocking today. It's thunderstorms and lightning and all sorts and it's been pissing down for hours. So, not the best choice of soap really for this sort of weather. I generally tend something a little bit warmer. But, let's get stuck in. So, the soap really is to say a big thank you to Brown Man Shears because he sent me it. He also sent me Passiflora and another Christmas one which I can't remember the name of. And yeah, just the top, top bloke. He's just returned to his channel, Brown Man Shears. I will pop the link down below for his channel and turn and shave and barrister and man and the other products that I'm using as well but I'm going to try it, I'm, I'm getting better, I'm going to try and be a little bit more proactive with that. So here we go, straight into the soap. Now this brush is a little bit more difficult to use for head, head shave because it is so floppy but it makes a phenomenal lather, it's so soft as well. Look at the tips. So it's just straight onto the dry soap, load up the brush, paint it on and then whip up the lather. So let's say this one's my head shave, I'll do my face shave next, and then that's me sorted for the day. As you can see, my neck still looks a little bit shit after my shave with the supply razor yesterday, I did struggle with it. I'm going to give it another go on setting two. It's on plate three when I used it that time. And just see if it feels any nicer on setting two, whether I'm going to keep it or not. It's, I don't really want to let it go because, let's say, it is sort of its sentimental value, but I'm not a... I'm not a keeper of stuff that I don't use, like I keep saying and repeating myself, I know. So Milton is releasing a batch of special edition brushes and he's actually selling them all at the price that he sold his very first brush 365 days ago. So it'll be really interesting to see how they sell and what the what the uptake's like on them. Like I say, he's he's been one of the best guys I've dealt with in terms of actually purchasing stuff. His his customer service <coughs> is phenomenal. You message him and nine times out of ten within a minute you've got a message back. I don't know how many people are messaging him but I can imagine he's reasonably busy. But here we go. 
just about to wet my face there. What's the point wetting my face and shaving my head? Here we go, the turn and shave, 25mm angel hair knot. Completely loaded up, absolutely stunning. It really is. Here we go, this was before Milton started doing his coins. This is one of, in fact, this would have been not not one of not his first brush, but it would have been one of his first sort of brushes because I've had this for quite a while now. Then again, I don't actually know how long Milton was running for before I came across him through Spencer's channel. I think it was Spencer. Definitely it was Spencer that turned me on to him. Oh, better fix my mirror. Bit it. Right. So that is the load painted on. I've just been to the doctors today as well and been signed back on at work, so it's been a good day. So I start back work on Saturday, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm slowly coming to grips with not being protected down below anymore. It's it's been a bit of a struggle, I have to admit. You guys out there that have been circumcised from birth or from very young probably don't remember it really too much, or if at all, but if you've had it done in your later years, and I'm pretty sure you know roughly what I've went through for the last two weeks, and obviously what I'm going to go through for the next few weeks I think as well, sort of overcoming the sensitivity issue, <laughs> let's just call it that. So I'm going to be using this soap and this brush for my head and my face shave. And like I said on my previous live shave, I'm not going to be doing them so frequent. I really enjoy them, but they just take up too much time. I think it's more of a, a thing that you should just do when you have the time to do it. I've got a real appreciation now for Jared Stein on Facebook, who has done a shit ton of live videos. In fact, nearly all his videos have been live. I don't think he's actually done a recorded video, other than the ones for West Coast Shaving. Above the tie, R1 Calypso. I had to really think about that there. Let's see if we can get this focused. There we go. Absolutely beautiful razor. And I have got second use head shave on this bad boy. Hopefully that focuses. The Gillette Super Stainless The Spoiler. 1973, I think, the vintage is on this blade. It's incredible. It's thick as steel. I've noticed it is a thicker sort of steel. It's similar to a Kai thickness in terms of the actual steel itself. And I think that aids how long this lasts. Look at that lather. Now I am doing the old, I'm actually literally doing the splits here so that my head comes down a bit further and it's actually on the camera. So I'm going to try and stick it this high if I can. We'll see how we go. Straight against the grain. I'm not going to piss about with, with the grain and just see how it feels with this blade again. I love these blades, look how thick that lather is. Barrister and man, you beauty. And this is a completely no prep shave. I had my shower this morning, went to the doctors. I've been back, I've taken the wife to train station to go to work and then I've come home took my photographs for my shave of the days on Instagram and for my YouTube channel and then I've jumped straight on the camera so the splash of water before I put the lather on was the only prep that was it the splash see you later My son's still not very well. He's in the room behind me watching Guardians of the Galaxy 2.
one thing I love about this razor is I can tend to buff with it quite a bit and it doesn't really cause me any issue. I don't get any real irritation from it. to look into getting the M2 blade base cap for this as well. It's funny, I keep going to the Above the Tie website and looking at the M2 razor and the Calypso and I keep thinking, oh, quite a bit of money that, another hundred bucks or whatever. And then I, I forget, it was Manny that told me, you don't need to buy the whole razor, I only need the base cap. And uh, very kind gentleman, all the way back in Scotland and Glasgow, I believe. I think I think he follows the channel, but he also follows me on Facebook, and not literally like a stalker, but he does. Too. He obviously follows my shave of the days and my whatever I do, and he's very kindly sending me over some Persona vintage blades, and I think from memory I think it's Locust and Sword vintage blades. So I think he's sending me three of each to try out. So that would be interesting because these vintage blades are on a different level of quality. And it's sad, really, that you get that from a, a blade that's older than I am with the technology advancements that we've got today. A blade that old is better than what it is now. But it just shows you that companies back then cared more about quality than, than quantity. Just a little dip of water, just a quick scrub. That's me. Don't need a super voluminous ladder for my second pass in the head because really what I want is the slickness. But you can still see the shine on that. How amazing quality the ladder is. There we go. Just against the grain again. Now for you head shavers out there, it's really important or if you're new to this, when you're actually coming from front to back, you have to allow the blade to, you've got to bend the blade over the back of your head. You can't keep it straight and come down because you're just at the top cap. And if you come down too sharply, you just chunk the blade into your head. You've got to smoothly sort of follow the contour of your head. In order to get that, that lovely close BBS finish. Just such an intuitive razor. I find the angle. It's not the easiest angle to find. It's quite a quite a shallow. You so instead of having it sort of at that angle on my skin, hold on, let's see if I can get that. It's sort of more that angle. So instead of there, I'm there because that's just the way it sort of sits where it cuts the hair better. You've got to get it a little bit shallower. And every razor you use. 
will have its own its own angle that works best for it. There's no real thing as a two razors that are the same in a, in, unless the exact same razor. It's probably partly why or it's a major part of why the the carve razor works so well for me. I find the carve razor blade angle it's almost impossible not to find. So I've been told that with these blades I can expect an upwards of 20 shaves per blade for a face shave. I don't know what for a head shave. But I'm definitely, so in this razor just now I've got the Gillette spoiler. In my carve razor I've got the Gillette spoiler and I'm going to push these blades to the limit. I want to see how much I can get out of them because it ultimately, no matter how you look at it, they're expensive blades. I mean, they work out uh, roughly for me so far of uh, the blades I could find. 86 cents per blade now in comparison to what you can get in the modern market that is very expensive it's even it's pretty much sort of three times the price of a feather blade or two times the price of a feather blade As you guys know from watching the channel for long enough, I get literally one head shave out of a feather blade and that's it. Whereas this blade, so far, has absolutely chewed through this head shave to the point that I'm getting a BBS shave again from sort of two passes and a bit of clean up right now. And no issues at all. Just a high quality blade. What a shave. Let's empty the sink out. Yeah, the good thing with the head shave is with menthol soap is that unless it's really cold, like glacial wintergreen, I don't really feel it that much. My head's not anywhere near the sensitivity of my face shaves of my face for shaves that is oh, poor shaves incredible right I'm not going to finish off but this is what I'm going to be using for my post shave today and herb now someone asked what my 
th- my sort of the only things I would keep if I had to have one thing of each might be the carve razor Barrister Man Fuja Gothic Super Spoiler Blades from Gillette the Vintage my Wolf Whiskers Purple Haze and and Herb for my Porsche Balm Creed Aventus for my Splash so that gives you an idea of what my sort of choices are. If I had to choose only one thing at a time, that's what I'd be going for. If I could only keep those one thing each. Oh, poor shaver bastard, man. Whoosh. I feel like it actually feels like lovely moist leather. <laughs> Probably smells a bit like it as well. So the soap for today for the head shave was Barrister and Man First Snow. I'm really struggling with this. It looks like my camera's going a bit blurry. I don't think it is, I don't know, I can't, I can't make my mind up with it. Turn and shave from from Milton over in the States, 25mm ghost, ghost knot, 25mm angel hair knot, and his custom clear red. This was based pretty much uh, in homage to Manchester United, the red white. And the razor for today was outstanding, above a tie. R1 Calypso with second use on the Gillette Vintage Blade the spoiler. Uh, no doubt I'll have a few bits of No doubt I'll have no blood at all. So that just gives you a good idea how good these razor blades are and how good the razor is. I've got no real I don't feel any irritation at all if I'm honest. I know that there will be irritation but it's very minimal. I'm just gonna let that sit and then once I finish my face shave in the next shave, I shall and herb my whole face and head. So stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And once again, congratulations Milton on your one year anniversary for your first sale of your first brush, or first sale of a brush. And once again, welcome back to Brown Man Shaves on YouTube. I'll link all the links down below. Catch you guys next time. Cheers.